Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today we're going to be going over a driving force problem that deals with the Nernst equation. So here's the problem. If the voltage of the membrane is negative 10 millivolts, what would be the driving force of the flux of lithium ions? So what we're looking at here is a cell. It has uh, a lithium ion concentration intracellularly of 150 millimolar and extracellularly of 15 millimolar. And as stated in the question, the voltage of the membrane is negative 10 millivolts. How do we approach this problem? Well, first, we're gonna to have to take a look at the equilibrium potential. And the way to find that is through the Nernst equation. So if we take a look at the Nernst equation here, uh, at physiological conditions, you're, uh, you're going to have negative 60 millivolts right here over your charge times the log of the concentration of ions inside of the cell and the concentration of ions outside of the cell. So what this means is now you're taking a look at the three plus charge here, it's going here, and your 150 millimolar is going here and your 15 is going here. So once you plug that in, you get negative 60 millivolt, uh, millivolts divided by plus three, which is the plus three on, on the lithium ion. You multiply that by the logarithm of uh, 150 divided by 15. And what you get is negative 20 times the log of 10. And log of 10 is equal to one. What, how I like to remember this is that logs go in, uh, logs deal with tens. So for example, the log of 100 would equal two. And how I remember this is you look at the number one and then you look at the number of zeros and the number of zeros correlates with what that logarithm is um, resulting in. So your final value you get is negative 20 millivolts and that is going to be your equilibrium constant for your lithium ions. Now, are you done? No, because now you're looking at the driving force. You want to know if there is influx or efflux of lithium ions, either into or out of the cell here. So the way you do that is through a uh, driving force equation. What the driving force is, is the voltage of the membrane um, minus the equilibrium potential. Um, in this case, the voltage of the membrane, if you look over here, is going to be negative 10, right? So you bring the negative 10 all the way down to right here, negative 10 millivolts minus a negative 20 millivolts here, resulting in a positive 10 millivolts. Now, what would you do with this? There's actually a really easy and handy chart, which uh, is the driving force chart, and essentially goes something like this. And what this means is if the final value here is positive, then for a positively charged ion, it's going to efflux. And for a negatively charged ion, it's going to influx. And this is in regards to the cell itself. And um, it's going to influx if it's a negative value. So if this value that we got right here was a negative 10 millivolts, then we'll be looking on the bottom here. And if it was a negatively charged molecule, it would be efflux. So when we're looking at this, our final answer is plus 10 millivolts. That correlates with the positive here. And since it's a positively charged ion, it's going to efflux out of the cell. Now, there is another way to approach this problem for those of you guys who don't like charts. I personally like to um, conceptually understand a problem and memorizing charts just is not my thing. So uh, what this is another method for those of you guys who are looking for another method and it's going to be looking at the membrane potential and your equilibrium potential of your ion. 
So the membrane potential, like we said before, was negative 10 millivolts, and the membrane potential we just calculated was negative 20 millivolts. So what this means, and if you think about it in the context of a cell, the voltage of the membrane is right here, and this is the equilibrium potential of the cell. And you're just looking at these values, right? Uh, keep in mind that lithium is a positively charged ion, and also that the voltage of the membrane is negative 10, and that is greater than negative 20, right? It's more positive than negative 20. And positively charged ions like to go towards areas of negative charge. It'll flow in this direction, from positively charged to negatively charged, because opposites attract. So what happens here is because this membrane potential, because of all the positive ions in this cell, um, it has a uh, membrane potential of negative 10. When compared to the equilibrium potential or constant for uh, lithium, it's going to be more positive. So the outside concentration is going to be more negative. And as a result, you have a net efflux of lithium ions outside of the cell. So as you can see, that's going to be the exact same answer that we came up before using the driving force chart. Now, what if our membrane voltage was negative 30 millivolts? Well, then you would have an influx of lithium ions into the cell. 